Chapter 3 Load Flow Analysis في هذا الفصل سوف نتناول Power Flow or Load Flow Analysis هذا الموضوع العلاقة بحساب Active and Reactive Power of Power Generator So for example as we can see in the introduction this part of power system is used to calculate active and reactive power P and Q of power generators and of course of power system furthermore it computes voltage current and power losses in power system section 3.2 Solution methods of load flow problems. طرق حل load flow calculation or حسابات ال power flow. The procedures of calculating the operating condition at each pass. بالمناسبة إحنا في ال power flow analysis. We need to calculate. نحتاج إلى إيجاد لكل bus من power system buses. لكل bus إيجاد شنو؟ إيجاد ال P active power, Q reactive power, V voltage and delta and the angle of this voltage are demonstrated in this section. So حساب هذه الكميات في كل بس سوف يوضح في هذا المقطع System information such as impedance and admittance matrices demand and other system variables are required to reach the solution بالتأكيد نحتاج هذه المعطيات لحساب هذه الكميات P, Q, V and Delta Types of bus bar are presented as follows Classification of bus bar where have been done into three categories The first category is slack or swing bus is located near to generators or substation and this bus في هذا البس يكون ال V and delta are known whereas بينما ال P and Q are, are to be calculated so in this bus in this type of bus we have V and delta P and Q we need to calculate them this slack or swing bus meanwhile the second type is the load bus and from its name is located at the end of transmission line in this bus p and q are known معروفات p will q will load بالتأكيد whereas v and delta are to be calculated so we need to calculate voltage and delta for this type of buses third one is the controlled voltage bus or sometimes we, call, we called it generator bus or PV bus in this bus magnitude voltage and, mag and the power are not whereas Q and delta are to be calculated the method to calculate these uh, values of P and Q and uh, delta for each bus can be done by using one of these methods the first method we will discuss together Gauss-Seidel method. 
and then we will take the newton raphson method, decoupled method, and so on. We have now in this section 3, 2, 1, gauss seidel method. The procedure of this technique is, is of solving power flow problem is iterative in which the results are obtained when a specific tolerance is achieved. We, and this type of solution, we need to know that from the nodal equation, I equal to current equal to Y multiplied by V, the admittance matrix multiplied by the voltage matrix then we need to know the current equal to s conjugate divided by voltage conjugate so s bus the parent power of each bus equal to s generated minus s load the procedure of using gauss seidel method are summarized as so, خطوات الحل في هذه الطريقة لحل load flow problem can be summarized as follows. باعتماد النقاط التالية. النقطة الأولى هو لكل سؤال من الأسئلة of power flow analysis or load flow analysis we need to calculate Y matrix from the given single line diagram. So for example, if we have three bus bar, we have to calculate bus, Y bus for this matrix. مثل ما عرفنا كيفية إيجادها في الفصل السابق واللي تكون إذا كان عندنا three bus three by three matrix. Second step, initial assumption of voltage and angle at load bus as well as angle at control bus. مثل ما عرفنا انه بالنوع الثاني للload bus P وال Q are known معروفات لكن ال voltage وال angle يجب ايجادها لذلك احنا نفرض قيمها ودائما تكون قيمها كقيمة السوينج او السلاك بس وفي اغلب الاحيان هي تكون واحد بزاوية صفر مثل ما عرفنا الكونترولد بس عندنا المجنتيود في معلومة لكن الانجل غير معلومة ولذلك ايضا نفرضها على سبيل المثال زيرو ديجري النقطة الثالثة Iterative evaluation of bus voltage until magnitude VI KE plus 1 minus VI KE plus 1 بالأحرى هاي المفروض تكون VI KE plus 1 minus VI K just K not K plus 1 معنى أقل أقل من tolerance value لذلك أرجو تصحيح هاي أنه تكون بدل k plus 1 فقط k وبالتالي مثل ما تلاحظ وياي أنه ال vi vi أقصد v للبص بار i في when v2 v3 k plus 1 the number of iteration for example first one راح يكون iteration 1 second iteration k will be 2 and so forth لذلك كل iteration ايجاد لإيجاد فولتية في الباس بار I equal to 1 divided by 
Y capital Y. This is from the admittance matrix for the bus I I multiply by S I conjugate divided by V I conjugate with alternatively قبلها K. مثل ما لاحظ هنا alternative K قبل الالتراشن K زائد واحد conjugate minus summation من J يساوي واحد بحيث J لا تساوي I إلى number of buses this إذا كان عندنا ثلاثة من واحد إلى ثلاثة إذا قاعد نشتغل على البص بار الثاني J لا تساوي اثنين J يعني راح تساوي واحد وثلاثة في ال Y I J من ال admittance matrix multiply by V J لل alteration K القبل ها هي المعادلة ثلاثة واحد إيجاد الفولتية وبالتالي الدلتا للبصبار باستخدام جاوس سيدر method.